Colorado is going to be center stage tonight on NBC Nightly News. Lester Holt sharing his rare access inside of NORAD Command Center in Colorado Springs. That means we'll get to see where any threat to North America is monitored at every moment, as well as the Cheyenne Mountain Complex. That, of course, is NORAD's most secure bunker. Lester also sits down with the general who briefed President Biden about the Chinese spy balloon. He was the person in charge of tracking and taking down that balloon. There was obviously a great political debate over the timing of the shoot down. From your military perspective, did things go in the order they should have? So the president uh, gave the permission to shoot the balloon down uh, and we decided based on his direction uh, when to shoot it down. What I would tell you is it turned out the best we could expect. The American people were kept safe from any falling debris. Uh, you got to remember there were several thousand pounds of equipment. Did you become aware of gaps that you didn't know existed? Uh, absolutely, we did. Uh, we, we were not looking for a high altitude balloon at that time. Uh, at 65,000 feet, very slow. Our radars uh, are capable of seeing it, but we were filtering out that data. And so therefore we learned significantly. I also learned that I need to be able to see further, further out into the Pacific, further into the Arctic and into the Atlantic. And that's what the over the, over the horizon radars will give us. Well, Lester Holt now joins us with more on this exclusive visit down to NORAD headquarters. And uh, Lester, I have to ask you, that's one of the most unique places in the world. What was it like inside that Cheyenne Mountain complex? You, you know, it's amazing. It's a symbol, an icon of the Cold War built uh, basically to withstand a direct nuclear strike. There are buildings inside the cavern that sit on 19 inch springs to absorb uh, the impact of a strike of, of, of high magnitude. Uh, so it was um, uh, to be there as a child of the Cold War, to remember the tensions of the time. Uh, it really, really made you think about uh, what the, what we faced and what we could still potentially face. Yeah, it is a top secret location right here in our state. Um, when you talk about the tensions of the Cold War, what about the tensions today? What did the general say about what we're facing right now? We well, heard him talk there a moment ago. There's great some concern, and he has spoken about this before the balloon incident, that, that he doesn't have enough eyes on or enough distance. He wants more capability to see threats coming over the horizon. Um, and he's uh, concerned about things like hypersonic missiles, which have changed the game. They're more maneuverable. They're faster. He's got to be able to detect them and spot them. And as he said, his most important job is to buy time for the National Command Authority, for the president to, to, to have some decision-making space. Um, it's a 24-7 it's a job, as you can imagine, uh, Canadians and Americans working side by side. It is a joint command since you know, we, we share this landmass. Um, so you'll see a lot, a lot of Canadians uh, around as well as Americans. Well, it was nice to have you in our state, even though it was a secret mission. Uh, we'll hear much more when we see you coming up at 530 <laughs> tonight on NBC Nightly News. All right, Lester, thanks so much for taking a few minutes and joining us.